Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. And this card uh, I made using quite a few stamp sets. The main one being Positive Thoughts. And I'll be using this leaves, the butterfly, the feather, and the flower. Thoughtful Bloom. That's the first time I used this set. I am only using that leaf and that tiny, tiny flower there. Very Versailles. I'm going to use the writing and them leaves. And waterfront for the splatter dots. I have got all the stumps out ready, I hope. Now I have already cut out one flower, which is here, one of these leaves which is there the one butterfly that needs coming out or needs cutting out I've cut out and one of the feathers there's two feathers I'm also using this um, sprig punch to cut out a couple of them three I think I used I'm also using a brush for the background and the inks I'm using, I have got a few here, I'm using Smoky Slate, Balmy Blue, Seaside Spray, Night and Navy and Pacific Point. And we're going to be using all them. So to get started, we're going to do our background, oh no we need card, right. Got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half. Got a piece of white for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of army blue at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters. I've also got a scrap of white and a scrap of army blue. So. I'm taking the main white piece, I'm going to put that on there, and we're going to use a brush and brush over some balmy blue ink. You can use a sponge or a dauber if you want, but I'm using a brush and I'm just going over a third of the card with the balmy blue. be enough. She says and goes over it again. Right, that's definitely enough. So we don't need that for now. Next bit we need is seaside spray. And the leaves from Very Versailles and I'm only inking up that much of them not doing the bottom bit because then that's just a waste because we're just stamping half of the stamp on the card Fine. Right. Finish with that for now. I'm going to use Smoky Slake. Now I should have done this first, and then the leaves, but I forgot. I'm going with the script from Berries of Versailles ink that up and I think no I didn't 
yes I did, I stamped off and I'm just going to stamp that down I just want it very pale stamp it off and so we just have script coming down the side but most of it's going to be covered but you'll get a little peek of it now and again Now our next step is to do some leaves. Now with that I used, no we won't do that until I've done the stamp cutting and flower, but we will put nothing on there for now. Just put that to one side and bring our scrap in because we're going to start stamping. Oh, might as well open this. Right, I need a leaf. So there's one leaf. Um, what else do I need? I need one of these branches in night and navy but stamped off. So bring me scrap back up. Right, I'm going to stamp it off and then stamp it down. That's fine. Get most of the ink off of that. Um, so I've got one of them, one of them. We need another flower. So we will cut them out by hand because I don't have the dies yet. More for me. So with our paper snips, just follow the pattern around moving your card and not your scissors. Ooh. And round that off. There's our feather. I mean, if you've got the dies, obviously you'll cut them out using the dies if you choose to make this card. I am going to get the dies because this is being carried over. Try and get rid of all that. which I'm pleased about because I do like this stamp set.
obviously you can take your time cutting these out. I just always round it with um, where I think I can go with the scissors without chopping it off. I've done that before now. Thinking I can get around a leaf and chopped it off. And then I glue whatever I've chopped off from and add it afterwards. <laughs> Done that as well. But no, I'm definitely going to get the dies for this set. They'll just be neater cuts with the dies. I don't know if the dies go in like I'm doing or if it just cuts out in a shape. That didn't make sense, did it? But you know what I mean. There we are. That's the... Now for this one. The trick to this one is cut it round in a circle and get as close as you can to the spikes. And then just follow each petal round. to do on this. Should do it afterwards. Nearly done. Oops. Trying to go too fast, that's my problem. There we are. And there's our flower. Get rid of all these bits. That's a flower. Oh, there's a feather. Right, that's that there. And now we want three of these figs. Sprigs. Figs. One. 
two, three. Keep them to one side. Now, bring this back and we've got a tiny flower here and Pacific Point. I'm only doing this now in case I forget. And with our two big flowers, we're going to stamp one of these in the middle of each flower. Just to give them a thingy, a centre. I'll keep that, I won't clean it because we're going to use that again. Now these are going to go on like that with this one down the bottom. I think I cut that off there, I did. And this one up here. And with sprig there, put your fingers in the ink and a feather. So I'm just doing that so that I know where to do these little leaves. I just want to put, that didn't stump very well, some little leaves where these flowers are going to go. With that little one, what did I do with that little one? Oh, right in front of my eyes. And just put some of these little flowers like that. just to fill up the spaces right around there because you're going to obviously cover it all up with the bits right remember what I did here I cut that off and that went under there we've also got our add on here the butterfly no, I don't need that one for now. So, I've got Soft Sea Spray and Night and Navy and my cloth and my butterfly stamp. So, put Soft Sea Spray all over the butterfly. And then with your cloth, just wipe off the edge. Of your butterfly. It's quite easy to see on this one because the edges sticks out. And then with your night and navy, you just lay the edge of your butterfly on the stamp. On both sides. And then breathe on it so that the um, seaside spray will dampen again and then stamp that down. And there you have it like that. I've done that a little bit higher because this branch was in the way. And this one will go down here. That's how I've done my butterfly. A 
without using my pens. If you're not confident enough doing it like that, you can use your watermark pens. So, get rid of that, get rid of that, and we're going to bring in Smoky Slate. and the splatter dots from waterfront and we're just going to splatter dot some dots just at the edge here and at the top here like that going to get the Pacific Point pack and we're going to get some splatter dots for that as well but what we're going to do stamp off and then just put some randomly about like that just adding a few blue ones makes it work a bit better. Right, with while well, we've got the um, Pacific Point out and our Night and Navy scrap we are going to put Always Thinking of You which comes out of Berry Versailles. And we're going to just stamp that down there. Oh, I did it in Night and Navy on that one. Let's change our mind and do it in Night and Navy. Yeah, I like it better in Night and Navy. going to cut round the word. I think we're all finished with our ink. It's just a matter of now putting the card together but first we'll cut these words out. If you watch my card. Huh. Right. Yeah, I'll try and put this on f the Friday. So if you've seen a card earlier in the week, you would have seen I did this already with a card. Well, we just cut round the letters. And just by moving your card, it will guide you, or you can guide the scissors. Around the word. This way it gets a little bit harder because you've got hardly anything to hold on to. Remember, don't do a straight line, just zigzag it. If you did a straight line, you might as well cut it out in a rectangle. We 
go over there, go over. And then round the A. There we are. And that looks nice. Right. Read that off. Didn't want that. Land scraps. Everything now must take a drink. Sorry, going to glue this on. Do it before I stick all the bits on. This on the card base. And stick this one inside. Had to look to make sure I hadn't done anything on the inside. Right. Now then, I stuck only the flowers on dimensions but before I did that I just curled up the ends a bit just had them so they were sticking up like that I didn't want them to be too flat And then we stuck dimensionals underneath. Obviously, you wouldn't stick them on top, would you? I'm just going to stick one in the middle of each flower. And they are going to go on like that there. So let's stick these on first. And then this I'm going to stick underneath. So blue one like that none of my cards ever work out identical um, the feather that was on dimension Let's put 
put yeah we're going to glue a sprig down not gluing at all There and the same down at the bottom. Put a fig in, it's a fig, sprig in, and this one went in flat. And then I broke, broke, cut this one I'm stuck piece in there and a piece in there I use this up. Why did I put this? Yeah, I think I'll put that there. Drop me glue. You know, waste not, want not. And then this butterfly, you know, fold its body over, its wings over, to form a butter body. And we'll place that so it's just come off the... leaf. Like that. Oh, message. We're going to have going across the top of the flower. So we need to put some strips of dimensional on the flower. Another bit there. Yeah. Take the backs off. Always thinking of you. And there we have a beautiful card. Right, we've just got to put some gems on the butterfly. Did I put any round the... I did. So... To put some glue on the body, I'm 
Should fit three in there. And the same on here. Right, and then I added three around here. So I'm going to put one there, one there, and one up there. Still gives me my odd numbers. And there we have it, one complete card. Hope you like it. If you do, um, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.